Hey everyone, Kane here, and in this one we're gonna talk about the crafter and the bazaar as well. So, first things first, crafter. Basically, this event has been changed towards uh, obtaining the draconic dust. I guess, in a sense, devaluing the draconic dust to the point that quite a lot of people, if they would spend Linari, they can actually upgrade their uh, draconic, uh, I guess, talents um, pretty quickly. And in a sense, if you spend on 50 pulls uh, to just do something like that, um, I suppose you get about 1 million or so draconic dust. I do believe people made like average numbers from 1 million to maybe a little bit above. Whenever I pulled it uh, 60 times, I got, I think, just a little bit over 1 million of the draconic dust. So it's kind of decent, I guess. And then, of course, you get some of the rewards in terms of the, uh, I guess, breakthrough. So you have, uh, I guess, oranges, which are for the bazaar. And then you get some dust, some basic stuff like Hanimore potential potions, which really don't mean that much. Then a little bit of the tech rush. And, like, the main reward out of all of these is uh, seriously just the sweet and sour plum. Because, like, these, these basically don't mean anything. So yeah, uh, I do believe the percentages are, in terms of the event, pretty decent. Uh, there have been places where I got Draconic Dust in almost the full window. There have been places where I only got in like a couple of them. But essentially, I do believe the percentages are decent. I've gotten quite a few of, uh, I guess, 5Xs, a couple of 8Xs as well not being from luck points. So also, those were pretty decent, but unfortunately... They were, I think, on the friggin' Forge Fires and Astral Stones, which I guess I was really that unlucky. Then, of course, we have Big Spender, where we spend all of our Linari uh, for the sake of getting more resources. So you have um, special, uh, I guess, uh, resources in terms of Dewdrop. You have some Draconic Dust, Potential Potions, which are all pretty much welcome. Uh, the further you go, the more draconic dust you get. So from here and crafter, you also get like a few hundred thousand or so, even for the amount of Lenari I have spent. And then you get uh, a few stuff from the, uh, I guess, uh, rewards for acquiring the plums. So uh, the first reward is just some basic stuff, uh, like a day's worth or so resources, maybe two. Then, of course, the further you go, the rewards slightly improve in terms of runes uh, and, I guess, a Draconic Dust or Rush. And then the 31 basically gives you 2,000 Prism experience, which is pretty decent. And the other stuff is also like a, a day's or two's worth of basic materials. And going above 60, now they're going to give you a pretty decent amount of like Anima, which is pretty welcome. This is like, what, 10 days worth of Anima or so, I'm not entirely sure. And then you, again, a uh, slight devaluing of the potential resources that you're getting. Um, unless, of course, you require the Dragon, which I doubt many people do. And then 120, you get a plus 5 rune, as well as you get the first free footprint. Now, the only time you were able to get a free footprint, I think, was during Christmas. You got one chance and you needed to like out at like 0.5 or 1% to get a Christmas one or something like that. And after that, all of the others were basically just purchase based or whatever. So this one is the first free one, I guess. And some basic stuff, which isn't really like that much worth or whatever. Now, going towards the bazaar, the first thing you're going to see is I have bought out the cast iron. So... I've spent probably twice as less Linari, and I've gotten more than twice as more cast stones or cast iron from the friggin' feature, as well as like a lot of other rewards. Honestly, I think this is uh, a pretty cheap for the price, for the price of cast iron, for the price of soon to be buffs that you will be receiving, of course, as well, at least in my own eyes. And after that, I purchased the anima. Now, fine steel, you should stay away from the greater or whatever box. Uh, you should stay away from, cost too much, and if you get the same one, you basically are screwed or whatever. For some people, it may help out, but until this box becomes selectable, this is pretty much bad. 
Then, of course, you have Armaments, which is not that good. Dragon, not that good. These ones, probably only for, uh, for other new server. All of these three. These ones look like a pretty decent reward as well if you're going for further on. Pure stones, I'm quite not sure. Unless you really require to redo your gears, this doesn't seem like a pretty, pretty huge purchase or whatever. And then, of course, you have like the basic other materials which you can purchase if you don't have premium materials. Or, I guess, uh, a lot of premium artifacts upgraded. The, I guess, artifact stuff can also come in handy. Now, um, personally, I didn't go for this. I already have like three five star artifacts uh, or so. And the other ones either require the hero to be rather powerful or uh, other heroes to be powerful to get the most out of it and stuff like that. So I rather just stay away from this for a, or rather like until next bazaar and stuff like that. And then I probably will buy this out. I mean, this is pretty decent, but for me currently, I get a lot more stats from, uh, I guess, armory in terms of what it provides since it's literally just buffing the entire field. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, of course, Anima for going for those level 35s. So aside from that, I guess, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty decent thing to go for and also get materials from. And of course, you have Blooms of Rebirth on the friggin' second day whenever this friggin' event appeared, or rather the um, crafter. So uh, I kind of understand why they did that. I kind of dislike why they did that, but I kind of understand. So yeah, uh, pretty, pretty dickish move, but uh, what can you do? You already get quite a lot of materials regardless. So yeah, pretty decent event, pretty decent combination, and they added Blooms of Rebirth toward this as well. So honestly, um, I kind of wish that they would have added it a day earlier or I would have known that it was a day earlier. Now I have to just literally spend another like uh, 2,000 I think or 500 or maybe a bit more. I'm not entirely sure to just finish the, I guess, Blooms of Rebirth because there's no other spending event or whatever. So yeah, a, a pretty, pretty bad move of, of me to Norway, but yeah, what can I do? Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I guess just gave my comments. Honestly, pretty much like Bazaar, pretty much like that they added new resources in here and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was useful to you. And if it was, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.